Hey guys, welcome to day 22 of the 100 day project. This is day 21. Video is up, so you're free to watch that if you want to because today's video goes along with that video. Today what we're gonna do is continue on with our project. I'm hoping to finish it today. If we don't get it finished today, there'll be a part three. And what I wanna do is go ahead and glue down these pieces that I've got sitting on my papers. So I'm gonna look at these papers again and I'm gonna see if there's any changes I wanna make to the papers that are already laying down on top of them that I need to glue down. And I'll get my glue stick. You know what? I don't wanna use glue stick. I think I wanna use matte medium for this. I just wanna make sure they stay down real well. Glue stick usually works really well, but I'm gluing on top of paint. So I just think I wanna let the, the matte medium do the job for me. I really like these pieces right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue these down. So I'm gonna go through the process of gluing and if I have anything to tell you about, I will come back and tell you. And once all the papers are glued down, then we'll go to the next step. I'll probably need a few more papers. Once these are down, I'll look through my papers and we'll find any more that we need. This paper I'm about to put down will probably bleed because I think the ink I used is not permanent. It is water soluble. Yeah, it's moving, but well, that's okay. Take your papers and get your shapes and just fiddle around with them until you get what you like. This looks like two flowers to me, one off in the distance, one closer up. I think I'm gonna leave both of them on there because you know we're gonna do flowers. You might not even see this when we're done. You know, I just don't know. I like this little black piece here. I wanna use it. Stick it up there in the middle of the air. <laughs> Nothing on this one, unless I move this over. I think I'll move this one over. Do I wanna check it against any of these? Look at on there, hmm. I think I'm gonna move this one over here. So this needs something, and that needs something, and that needs something. So we'll find something for that in a minute. Let's go ahead and work on this one. That's awfully cute on that one. I like the pastel colors on that one. Not all these have to be flowers. It's just the way I tend to do things. I think I'm just gonna go with this one on here. This one might have to wait. Okay, so we need something here and maybe here. I don't know if I'm gonna put anything here or not. I might not. Isn't this where we started with this guy? I think it is. I'll just glue it here. I'm gonna look for some more paper and see if there's anything I like better to add because I've glued down everything that I had out. I went through the little box of scraps that I have over here and I pulled out these papers. So let's go through these real quick and see if there's anything that strikes us. Oh, this is cute, I like this. It's just scribbles. <laughs> I was just cleaning off my brush or maybe testing a marker, I don't know. And this looks like some leaves. Maybe on that one. This one could be this one. Or this one. So I'm just gonna do this in silence now that you kind of get the idea of what I'm doing. I'm just taking papers and finding cool little marks and deciding where I want everything and just putting it down on the paper.
Okay, I can't find anything else that I want on here right now, but I still may add some more scraps at some point. I never found anything I really wanted on this one. The other one I'm not crazy about, this one, I just didn't like it, so I changed it. I've had things happen where I didn't like something at the beginning and then it turned out to be favorite, you know, so we'll see what happens. I pulled out some stencils that I want to use and I haven't decided on the colors yet, probably very muted colors, but I'm going to tell you the stencils I'm going to use just so that you know. I'm probably going to use this Dilutions Ranger Letter Jumble, there we go. Rhonda's Fragments, and it's called Pods Fragments. And this is one of my favorite stencils. It's the Mini Striped Leaves, Dina Wakely, The Crafter's Workshop. Mini Vine by Dina Wakely, Crafter's Workshop. And this one is a Balzer Design, Mini Flower Garden. And then this one is also a Balzer Designs, Mini Stick Flowers. Okay, I'm gonna use a makeup sponge to apply this. I'm gonna start with the lighter color, which is gonna be Deco Art Light Antique White. And I'm gonna go through all the ones that I think I want this off-white on. I'm gonna start with this sheet first. Let's do the alphabet. And I'm just gonna go back and forth with the stencils until I'm happy with where I'm at, or at least until I'm ready to go to the next step. That's good enough. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna remove tape because I don't think I'm gonna do anything else that requires the tape to protect anything. Okay, so there's our first one. It looks so much better without the tape, doesn't it? They're really cute. And we're just gonna work on them like this and then we'll cut them at some point. So let me do this one real quick. So there's our papers without the tape and they look so cute this way. I love them. I don't wanna cut them up now. I wanna just make papers like this forever. Well, I can't do that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work on these with pencil, probably a Stabilo. I think I'll go over it with matte medium though to seal it. I'm not going to add any leaves or anything because I really like the way this looks. So unless I put a word or do something with this side, I'm probably going to leave it alone. And until I feel like changing, I will use my Stabilo. I probably will use a pencil for sure though. at some point at the end on all of them. And I'm just going around and getting all the shapes that I want to accentuate. I found this little piece of paper and it would look cute here, but I don't want to cover this completely. So I think I'm going to make it smaller. There, that looks good. I found this piece and I was thinking of cutting out closer to the negative space and making it like a silhouette flower. And then this piece was in there too and making a little stem. That might be cool, let's try it. Okay, let's see what that looks like. And let's get a stem. 
a little skinny stem and we're gonna go with the crooked side, not the straight side. And go right like that. So we're going with that one or this one. Okay, here's what I decided. I don't love the black on this one because I don't love the background that much, but it really looks good on this one, I think, because I love this background. So seeing that background through the flower really makes me happy. So I'm gonna put it on this one, I think. And this one, we're gonna go with this route here. I'm going to cut it in half and try a piece out on the edge. And this is from the papers we created the other day. Put it up here, make a stem, or I could put it over here. Okay, believe it or not, I actually like that. So that's what we're gonna do. And put this one up here. I like that. So let's go play with this one. And then I emptied out the envelope to see if I could find anything that would look good as a leaf. And these two little pieces fell out, a little square, a little circle. So I made those the leaves. I think that's just adorable. The only one left is this one right here. What are we gonna do with that one? I just have no clue. And nothing I put here is to my liking, so I don't really know what to do. Two things that keep popping into my head though, just put something on top of it and let a little of this show through. And this thing here keeps popping up and getting in my way, so I thought, well maybe this is what's supposed to go on there. And I thought, well maybe if I just tear off some of the white so that most of the color left is just the writing, maybe it would just look cool to have that on there. I could break it into two sections because it's too wide. Put one piece up there and I could break it into three sections actually, which is what my preference would be. And put one down here, one like that. Just let that sit on top and then I thought, you know, I'm heart. If we ruin one, it's not gonna be the end of the world. So we're gonna go for it and see what happens. I'm liking that better already, honestly. And then I had a heart piece somewhere around here. I was gonna see if I wanted that on there. Plop it right down the middle. I actually kind of like that. You wanna just go for it? Are you gonna be brave with me and just let's do it? Let's do it. Let's just be brave. Let's just do it. That's gotta dry though, so do we need to work on this one over here? Yes. We need to work on this one, so let's get this one done. So let's just do some pencil work, regular pencil, until this dries. I'll show you close-ups when we're done. Okay, I'm gonna cut these out and I can finish the pencil work later. I just don't know if I want it on the white one or the black one, so we have to make that decision. So let's just cut these out and then we'll decide that in a minute. So you see what I'm doing. I'm gonna go off camera and get the rest of these cut out and when I come back, we'll make our decision. Aren't these cute? You could cut these in strips and make your book this way. Just fold and fold and have your little accordion book this way and glue them together. All right, let me go finish this. Okay, here's our squares. And I think one thing I would do different next time is leave a white border on here, but it wouldn't have mattered because I am gonna use the white book. But the next time we make them, I think I'll leave a white border. Ooh, that looks good though. I don't know. Mm. We'll have to do, we're gonna have to do another one because I wanna do a, a both books. Okay, so here's what they look like. They're not in order anymore. And I think I'm gonna round the corners. I'm not sure about that. This one has to be finished. This one will wind up being this way. And this one, we did this way, will wind up being this way. Okay, so let's finish this one. This one needs to bellow.
Okay, I've got a corner punch here. This is a large, it has an L right here. There's one that has an S. I uh, don't know who makes this. Maybe Memory Keepers, it's not written on here. Paper Studio, I don't know. I'm gonna see if that works. Yeah, that works fine. And I'm gonna put just a little round edge on all of these. So when I come back, these will be rounded. They're cornered. I think I'm gonna use double-sided tape on these. I really love how that turned out. From where it was to where it went. You don't have to love it, but I really like it. I think this is my least favorite. This is my favorite. Mm -hmm. Okay, oh, and this is my next favorite. And then this one might be, okay. <laughs> oh, and I love this one too. All right, let me get these in order. While I'm gone, I'm gonna apply tape to the back. I'm gonna use this scrappy tape, and it's double-sided, and it's this is a half inch. You could use a larger if you want. I'm just gonna put some strips on the back, and then when I put them in my book, I'll put some glue around the edges to help hold it in. And, well, doesn't really need it, but I probably will. And when I come back, I'll have these in the order that I wanna put them in. This is the order they're gonna go in. This is gonna be the front one. And I probably will do another video on this because I don't think I have time to do it today. So I will take my square. I'll have some glue handy in case I want to use it. And I'm just gonna take the tape backs off. I'll show you what I'm gonna do and then I'm gonna do the rest off camera. Then let's put a little glue around the edges because I want to. And I'm gonna put my paper in here. And we have the first page down. Okay, so then we're gonna keep going. And when I come back, my book will be filled. Okay, I have the papers in the book, but we have a problem because I did a terrible job figuring out the math. I don't know why I was thinking I needed 10 pages, but I really need 16. And I only have 12. And one of them I saved out for the outside. So the book is not full. I'll show you that in a minute, but they're all in. You just flip your pages and it's cute as can be. I just love this. This was a lot of fun. You get to the back and you flip and that's the last page and I have several pages left. One, two, three, four, five pages left. So we have a decision to make. I have these that I did a few months ago that I showed you which kind of sparked the idea. They don't really go with the look here. So in the comments, tell me, <laughs> help me. Would you just add these into your book and be done with it? Or would you go ahead and whip up another batch of these and hope to kind of keep them in a cohesive look, you know, so that the rest of these pages looked similar to these? Or would you just throw these in here? Because these don't look like that. But today, that's it. I'm gonna have to stop. This will be part two, so there is gonna be a part three. I thought there'd only be two parts, but there's gonna have to be a part three. All right, guys, I'll see you tomorrow for day 23. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.